What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. One of like my sponsors, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. Also, they just released their energy drink. If you guys are a fan of energy drinks, recommend that you check it out. Also, you know, I'm a Weeble Preferred Influencer. Best promotion in the pin comment. All you need to do, click the link, open an account. Mention prior to September, $100 minimum deposit for the free fractional shares. It is now a single dollar, any amount. You're going to get the same thing that people used to have to deposit $100 for, but you only have about 11 days left to take advantage of it. But I'll show this to you, and I want to thank Hard Count Zero. He put up an incredible video comparing Madden 23 to Madden 24 to All Pro Football, and there's so much to break down that I'm not going to be able to do it in a single video. But I want you to understand, from Madden 23 to Madden 24, Sapien technology is what has changed. So when we look at every movement in this game, to me, it's so critical to understand that I don't see that big of an improvement compared to all pro football. Now, we know all pro football 2K used a lot of real athletes to motion capture, but to look at just 23 to 24, I'm not seeing this gigantic change that they sold us of when now all of a sudden the game is going to look so much better. And the reality is, these running motions are so unnatural, even slowed down. I want you to understand that when I look at Walter Payton, I see shoulder movement. I see hip movement. I see players dropping back here fluid with the intent to throw the ball. I don't see that as much with Madden 24. Everything looks very, very robotic, especially with these rollouts. That little skip step that you see before the ball gets thrown, it's so, so robotic in the movement. And that's what I struggle with so much when playing this game. When you can see animations get pulled into, it's because how unnatural the game looks. I want you to watch. Walter Payton continues to look over, okay? The head movement on Madden 23 and Madden 24 is non-existent. And to go back to these dropbacks, you don't even see really movement in, in the body. I mean, it's so exaggerated with the leg kick on Madden 23. And I guess I'm glad that they've removed that to an extent. But if we're going to use all pro football as the standard, the footwork is immaculate in this game. The way that every step gets accounted for. Just look at why they're slowed down. The shoulder pads going back and forth. Madden 23 looks absolutely awful. Madden 24 looks just as bad. All pro football looks like someone running. When they talk about implementing these skeletons, just look from the front. What to you looks visually indicative of someone running with a football? You know, Madden 23, they're almost running with the ball. You know, the ball's just th so thrown up in the air. It looks like they've toned that down a little bit, but not really as much. I know a lot of people joke, oh, you, you carried the ball like a loaf of bread, but they're not even carrying it like you would carry bread because you would ruin the loaf. With all pro football, it's very clear the intent is to run, but hold the football. And I think what you're seeing in these motion captures is that movement of the football being held, allowing the pad work to go back and forth. Look at how upright these players run in Madden 23 and Madden 24. It, it's almost like their hips are different from their spine. And when you when you take that stance and you look at these dropbacks, it just looks so unnatural. I don't know where they're motion capturing these players, but I really fail to understand how we can have such a poorly poorly looking game. And it doesn't matter what throwing animation you look at whether it's an extended drop back or not. When you look at all pro football and you see that quarterback drop back, you see the throw, the release, it looks like one continual movement. Madden looks like everything just stitched together in poor animations. And I just want to show this one last time as far as the role that is concerned. And I want you to focus on all pro football and just watch the stride slow down and how realistic it looks. Then watch Madden 24. Go back in and out of these long, long strides and then cut right back. It's almost like we're just pasting animations together. And the problem I have with this is when you look at it this way, you don't get the impression that this is animations for the quarterback. 
you get the impression this is animations for everyone, and they're just glued together, right? The running of the quarterback is the same as the running of the halfback, is the same as the running of the offensive line, should they pick up a fumble, and that's so much what we've begged EA to change. Remember back when I first started comparing these, I said to you, all pro football was made for a console that is 30 times less powerful, 30 times less powerful than what we have today. And the fact that EA's best effort, Sapien Technology, looks no better than All Pro Football. We should be blowing All Pro Football out of the water, right? These video comparisons like this, the ones I'm going to do going forward, should be an absolute embarrassment to, to 2K, right? You should not be able to look at these games holistically and say, this one looks better, and it not be Madden 23 or Madden 24. The fact that we know, looking at this, EA Sports sat down and said we need to completely rebuild the skeletal structure of our player, and when we look at things side by side by side, we can't really define what has gotten better is a huge part of the problem. And dare I remind you, there was a time, not anymore, but there was a time EA Sports had the world's largest motion capture studio. Now, I know a lot of people love to make the discussion point that 2K went out, and they did. They got Tom Brady, they got Brian Urlacher, they got a whole bunch of NFL players that went in and motion captured these animations. And what I will offer to you is very simple. I believe that time is done. I don't believe we're in that world anymore with athletes making the contracts that they are, no matter who they are, no matter what the NFL says, I don't think we're in a position where athletes are going to go and put themselves in a position to be hurt making clips for a video game. Look no further than what happened last night with Nick Chubb, and keep in mind, Nick Chubb has a contract relative to his talent. Okay, players like Jonathan Taylor, and this is coming from a Colts fan, typically don't have contracts dependent to their talent. So I'm not going to sit here and push for EA to go bring in professional athletes from the NFL and film all these things. But the reality is when you're promoting Barry Sanders' son, Chad Johnson, Clint as a former practice lineman, all these players that spent time in the NFL, it has to look better than this. Right? If we're truly replicating the sport, I think it starts with the visuals. And when you look at these players running side by side, when you look at the movement of a quarterback, the most important position to many in sports, it should be clear-cut, no questions asked. Madden 23 looked better than all-pro football, but Madden 24 looks the absolute best. And I would challenge anyone that watches this video or the video he did to go back and tell me how the movement of the players looks better. We'll talk about the intricacies, the atmosphere, the stadium, the crowds, all those other things. But I just wanted to do a video dedicated to player movement. Because I think that's the focal point of what we need to look at in understanding that's what we need to make the game better. The players have to look like they're connected to the field. Then we have to have control of them for it to even begin to resemble simulation football. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this. Recommend you go check out his channel. You know I will be back in the week with more commentary.